former KGB agent and whistleblower. Translation of his interview, part two. We're at the point where he is describing the Anunnaki portals because he says that they have this unique and sophisticated way of transportation where instantaneously these portals that only they can see move them thousands of miles away. It is speculated that there are millions of these portals on Earth and the Anunnaki themselves had made them previously. When they say previously, we're not talking about the thousands of years ago when they were here last time. He's talking about recent years. They have been here prepping to come out for at least a dozen years now. These portals could technically even bring them back to their home planet. Where is their home planet? Based on their intelligence, they are saying that they come from the fifth and seventh planet of the Nibiru system. Now this is news to me, since in the Anunnaki Chronicles and Scriptures, we were told and taught that Nibiru is the 12th planet of our solar system. They could have lied to us, by all means. So, let's look into this. The interviewer asked, how did the Ministry of Defense in Russia come to find out these things? And he says, because they told us. I will talk about that later. He's focusing on that we need to find their weakness. Because regular firearms do not work against them. It is just like watching the movie of Superman on these superheroes, these extraterrestrial superheroes that are bulletproof. What a coincidence, huh? Allegedly, the Russian survivors have reported that they have like an armor that is impenetrable. I don't know if it's their skin or real armor. They say that at one point they captured one of these beasts. Their top scientists tried to interrogate him with no result whatsoever. They could not understand his language. It, it was an unknown language. So interrogation was not possible. And then he says that they allegedly started testing all of these weird things on him. They exposed the Sanunaki being to extreme heat. He does not say what the result was of that. And then he goes on to say that they exposed him to extreme cold acid. So they're clearly doing some horror movie monster testing. And after months of them testing on him, they discovered that certain frequencies hurt the Anunnaki. These frequencies cause the Anunnaki to feel severe pain. Literally, they fall to the ground. I can only imagine this testing that they were doing. So they can be put down with energy-based weapons like lasers. Again, the movie Stargate, where the soldiers of Ra had the energy spears, that shot out energy rays, it's identical. So then Russian scientists concentrated on making these energy laser weapons potent enough to defeat and take down an Anunnaki. This happened and it's a big deal to them. They say that they were able to terminate him. They say that unfortunately, these weapons that are powerful enough to take down an Anunnaki are huge. You cannot carry them around. So what they did is they implanted them into mountains. They made 300 versions of these weapons, but nothing that can be carried around is strong enough to take them down. Not even the smaller Anunnaki. They've made some progress, but nothing that can terminally off them. And certainly they have not figured out how to find any hand weapons that can take down the taller one. That just seems to be impossible for now. Now the reporter says, but if you said that communication with the Anunnaki prisoner was impossible, how did you find out all of these things? And the guy says, I only said that the one that we imprisoned, that we captured, was speaking his own language and not able to communicate with us. He goes on to say, like I said, we have had many encounters with these creatures. And he says, sometime, which I mean, I think he means a while ago, some time ago, we killed like 1,200 of them. So I don't understand if it was 1,200 
or 200 of them. Nevertheless, he says that an emissary of the Anunnaki reached out to President Putin. How did he do that? This Anunnaki materialized near the Ministry of Defense, and he went there to give Putin an ultimatum because these Anunnakis were taken down. So he shows up out of nowhere, demands to speak with Putin, and they are saying that he was materializing, he was like in and out of phase. So I'm not quite sure if he was saying that it was a hologram or that he was materializing in and out of this dimension. This man spoke perfect Russian. He was four meters tall, which is between 10 and 15 feet. He had a very pronounced bone structure to his face. It was very chiseled. I don't know the name of this former Russian agent of the KGB, but I would love to interview him myself. Nevertheless, this is outstanding news. And most of all, it has so many similarities with what happened here at Area 51. 